How's it going you guys? Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to show you a common maintenance item. Unfortunately, this is very common in my area for homes that are only about a year or two old. And that you can see right here where you have pieces of vinyl siding in some type of storm, wind comes up and they start plucking those off your house. Now one thing, if that's happening to you, grab as many of those pieces as possible. This job is infinitely easier if you're able to get those pieces that fall off your house, and then you can just reattach those right back on with, without having to get replacement siding, especially if you don't have any extra pieces. So I'm gonna jump up there. I'm gonna check out the corner piece, the white corner piece, and also the J channel that's against the window. Make sure those are in good shape get those in order and then start replacing the pieces I have and then give you a few different options depending on your scenario. So climbing up here, I can see already my corner piece out here. I can see the nailing flange with those nailing slots. I just wanna see how often they are nailing that. And I see one nail head there. Best practice is about every 16 inches. So I think they were not doing that. And this is the J channel alongside the window and I'm missing all sorts of nails and that's out of place. So I need to re-secure that. And then once I get a solid corner piece, which I'll put a few nails in, get my J channel here, then I can just go ahead and put those pieces that pulled off back into place. So I just reposition this J channel making sure it's where we want it. And then this is gonna establish the, basically the boundaries, right? The J channel on the one end, the corner piece on the other, that is our boundaries for our actual siding. So you wanna make sure that's secure before going back and replacing any of these pieces that pulled off of the vinyl siding. All right, I wanna give you a close up here on how these actually go together. So we have our one piece of siding, which is the two four inch sections. You have your top nailing flange here. And then here is the interface where they come together. Your top piece is gonna be the outside loop. And then the bottom piece on your nail flange, just like this one, has that lip there. And then that's how they go together. When using your vinyl siding removal tool, you're really trying to get that up between those two and then that's what you're using to pry that piece of vinyl siding away, start to either remove or replace the sections of vinyl siding. So that is what you're dealing with. There's a few different designs, but they're almost all predominantly like this. So I'll start piecing this back in, making sure that this nail flange on my piece that was existing in there is secure. Now that only had one nail in it, I prefer to actually put two nails, kind of favoring the corner and then also the J channel. So I'm gonna start off with the widest piece. It's gonna be the hardest to get into place. All right, so we got that in place. We'll make sure that it hooks on. The bottom lip of the piece I just brought in is gonna hook on that top nail flange. Usually you can just hit it into place like that and it's gonna hook on. Now with an inch and a half roofing nails, I'm gonna go ahead and put two per section. You do not wanna to go too tight. You wanna go in the middle of your nailing slot. And then you also wanna leave a little bit of gap away from your plywood sheathing to make sure when the vinyl siding expands and contracts, it has a little area that it can actually move around. All right, so first one's back in place. And then you just kind of work your way up. Now these are very short sections, but it's gonna work exactly the same even for longer sections. Put it in place, hit it from the bottom. Now that's hooked into place. All right, my last one, same thing. Now, unfortunately, you can see 
I'm gonna be short a piece. So we'll talk about that. How are we gonna get that extra piece? That does make the project a bit tougher. So if you have a broken piece like this, I would remove it and take it with you for a few different reasons. So just go ahead and peel that off. Now be careful, this does have some jagged edges and vinyl siding will cut you open if you're not careful. Now, if you're trying to find out the manufacturer series and color because you need replacement pieces and you do not see anything printed on the pieces that you have on hand, here's a way that you can look on the existing siding on your home. Now, sometimes we can go ahead and undo one of these pieces to get access to the nailing flange and then see if there's anything printed on there that would help us identify the manufacturer and the specific color for the siding if we need to get a match for pieces that are either broken or missing. Usually you can try and end and get that tool behind, behind that lower lip. And then you just kind of work it loose. Then once you start getting it loose, then it's easy. Then you can go all the way across with it, pulling that top piece of siding away from your bottom piece of siding. All right, so here is what I'm looking for. This is gonna give me that this is a double four inch vinyl siding compass by you. So I should be able to use that to get a match if I need any extra pieces because they're missing or they're broken, especially because this house is only about two years old. So I should be able to match that up if I needed any additional pieces for this job. Now, if your home is like 15 years old, that's gonna be a little tougher. This one only being a couple years old, I'll be able to get a few sections of vinyl siding and I will recommend get a few sections. It's always nice to have a couple sections handy because these type of things happen. And if you have that already at your home, it makes the job so much easier. Now, if you have a section where you cannot find the vinyl siding and you need to do somewhat of a color match, well, I've done that before and I did it on a corner piece that I need to replace at one of my rental properties. So check out this video right here. I'll show you one, how to replace a corner piece, and two, we go through color matching because I needed to paint that color piece to actually match all the vinyl siding. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.